Hi there, Ron from RGM Music here, and this week we're going to talk about editing buttons. The ability to customize all your buttons is one of the most powerful features on the Mastermind series, and so we're going to have to spend a few uh, videos at least uh, talking about all the different things you can do. We'll start with the basics today, and um, we're working in the Mastermind GT editor today, um, but the, the other Mastermind editor will work basically the same, and I'll try to uh, point out where things may be different uh, when working in the Mastermind editor. So we've started with a factory configuration for a Mastermind GT22, and we'll just go over to the Devices tab, and we're just going to set up a Fractal Audio Axe FX3 as our one device in our system. So let's switch over to the Buttons tab. And now um, we see our uh, representation of our Mastermind GT. We have you know, all the buttons that the actual device has, and then also um, four external switches that can be uh, connected as well. Um, so as we explained in previous videos, um, you know, there's our, our uh, basic button categories. We've got preset buttons across the bottom, bank up, bank down, IA mode, and page, and then um, all of the uh, IA buttons. And so um, we can change any of these we like in the, uh, in the Mastermind Editor. And uh, the, the primary way we do that is you can um, get the context menu either by clicking on the right mouse button, or if you have a, a Mac with a single button mouse, um, you can hold Control and click the mouse button, and this menu will pop up. I should mention that in the Mastermind GT Editor, you're not actually clicking on the buttons themselves, but really the uh, the display above the button. Um, this is something I've been meaning to fix, and at least at the time of recording this video, I haven't done it yet. Um, in the Mastermind Editor, you can click on the button or the uh, LED above it in the uh, diagram. So we can look here and see many button types. Uh, some of them we've already spoken about, uh, the uh, bank down, bank up, IA, and preset, um, page store, that sort of thing. Um, so what we can do, for example, is just go over here to this button, which if we click it, we can see that the type right now is IA. But let's say we want to have more preset buttons. So we can just select preset and we can even, you know, we can convert any or all of these to preset buttons if we want, just with a click. Um, and so one thing we should notice is that um, the, the numbering of the buttons changes as we create more preset buttons. Right now it goes from... Uh, preset 3 here to preset 4 in the next row. If I change this one also to a preset button, um, that one now becomes preset 4 and the other ones shift to, uh, you know, accordingly. This was explained in our introduction to MIDI controller video where um, preset buttons don't select a specific preset, but rather they select one of the presets in the current bank. And um, the bank up and bank down buttons will, will, will shift which presets are uh, or which presets are in the current bank. And by creating more preset buttons, we're actually creating or we're actually changing how many presets are in the current bank. So now we're at 11 presets per bank. And so we need to really look at um, what the controller is doing. So when it loads up with this configuration, the, uh, the mastermind will actually look at the preset list um, that you've created. Um, right now we haven't done anything to it, so they're just presets called preset one, two, three, etc. And when you when it powers up, it goes through the buttons starting at the top, scans across looking for preset buttons. And as it gets to the first preset button, it says, ah, okay, preset number one goes here. Oh, here's another preset button. Preset go number two goes here, and so on. And so um, Basically, that's the way it's going to work by default. Um, this is something we can change. We can change the order. So if you don't like this order, there is a way to do it, which we'll talk about in the next video. But for now, don't be surprised when you create your preset buttons that the, uh, the numbering will be fixed. IA buttons are among the, uh, the most powerful on the, uh, on the Mastermind. And um, the nice thing is if you have a device that is listed in the Devices tab, such as the Axe FX3, you can do some automatic assignments. Um, if we click here and go to Assign CC, um, you'll see all of the things that can be controlled on an Axe FX3. And so we can say, well, let's control you know, delay number one. And you just click it, and now it's become a button that controls the delay one block on the Axe FX. Um, and you can you know, 
do all of these how you like and you know graphic EQ so anything that's listed you can um, assign on a device like the mastermind PVC where it has internal loops you can assign these to loops and there would be a an entry under assigned CC that says internal and it would list all of the the things that are built into the PVC such as uh, you know loop one loop two output one output two etc and so you can assign those to things inside the device as well if your device has them the mastermind GT editor also has another function that allows you to set up your buttons even more quickly if your device has a uh, specific listing in the devices tab um, you can right click on any of these buttons and select it here what it'll do is it'll overwrite if you answer yes uh, all of the IA buttons with uh, functions that uh, that you can control on that device and so um, what what shows up depends on what device it is and and how many functions it has but um, we came up with uh, you know what we think is a good default configuration I should note that um, it will also on many devices assign um, IA functions underneath the bank and preset button so if we click IA mode here you can see there's a couple more effect blocks and um, the scene selection for the axe effects and so um, you know pay attention to that as well because those are all uh, valid usable IA buttons and um, in this case on the GT pressing IA mode um, would, would allow you access to those buttons. Um, we don't have this option in the mastermind editor we find that with the, uh, the, the smaller controllers that it, it's much harder to predict what people would actually want their buttons to do. And so um, in those, you have to manually do it by doing the assign CC operation and, and setting each function individually. Other uh, cool things you can do are to rearrange buttons. You can just drag and drop. Say I want my chorus and tremolo to swap. Just drag them and they swap. Super easy. Um, you can also... Um, copy and paste buttons. Um, you could uh, select, say, this this uh, PEQ button here, and you can just copy it, and then select another button, and uh, you know paste it over the uh, paste it over the tuner here. And um, this would this would make more sense when you're doing multiple button pages. You usually don't want the same uh, button on um, twice on the same page. Uh, copy and paste are also available in the context menu. And not only can you do buttons, but you can do entire pages as well. So, for example, you can take this entire page and copy it to button page two. So, we're looking at page one here. We've been working on page one, but down here is the uh, selector that allows you to select which page you're looking at. And you can either select it here or press the page up and page down buttons to, um, to, to change which page you're viewing. We just copied page two, so it just looks like page one now. But if we were to go and you know fill this up with preset buttons again, we can show that they're different, like so. And so now when we switch, we can see this is page one and page two. Um, you can name your pages, um, so whatever you like. We can you know call this presets or whatever, and that will show up in the. Uh, the mastermind if you like there is a show page names checkbox here in globals that will have it uh, show the, the the name of the currently selected page on the uh, in the main display if you like that's all we have for this week um, as always please remember to like and subscribe if you want to hear more um, we'll be doing these weekly and um, next week we will be talking about deep editing of buttons thanks